Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video for the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box for August. So today is September 7th, and it came to me in the mail today, and this is supposed to be the August box. Um, I've been a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie, about um, this box in the last few months. It never comes on time. Um, I know there have been issues with COVID, but it's not usually communicated very well as to when the box will be coming out. Um, so I, I have high expectations because it's pretty expensive um, subscription compared to the other one that I have, which is Bargain Bee Box. And Bargain Bee Box, uh, pretty for mo the most part, always ships on time. And um, I'm almost always happy with Bargain Bee Box. But anyway, this is about Magical Mystery Bee Box. They're supposed to ship on August, like, or on the 15th of the month, and they rarely ever do. Like I said, we're already seven days into the new month. Um, okay, so opening it up, looks like, I haven't looked at this yet, um, roller skates and mixtapes. See, August 2020. Um, B, side B, what's inside? Mixtape elements, bead mix, roller rink seed bead mix, can you dig it, bead strand, soft flex wire spool and turquoise Ooh, well I might like turquoise magical mystery bead box exclusive shell beads which is great instant pendant fancy focal metal mix retro beats tassel mix chain reaction custom chain and macrame bead mix so right off the bat guys I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try so hard to be positive because you know I love positivity and it's my my channel is usually really positive I'm not a seed bead person. I don't we bead weave. You guys haven't seen that on my channel because I just, it's not my thing. So that they sent this as an item when there's like 15 of each bead in there. I just feel like that's not why I signed up. I mean, they're kind of cool colors, but, and I'm going to try, I'll try really hard to do something with these, but it's just not my jam. And I might just use them as spacer beads, especially these turquoise beads. But anyway, on to less negative things. So this is the roller rink um, seed bead mix. Um, next, let's see what we pull out of here. The mixtape, oh, this is cute. This is very cute. Um, mixtape elements bead mix. And let's see, do I have a background? No, I don't. But um, I do have bead trays, so I can just kind of put things in the bead tray as I go through them. Because I know you guys like to see what's in the bead mixes. So it's called mix tape. I'm seeing some cute stuff in here. I like this color mix. So we have... One of these bubble, little bubble bubbles with some stars in them and yellow. Um, we have one, is it one or two? Nope, we have two aqua acrylic um, flower. Are they cabochons? No, they're beads. I have a ton of these cabochons but from when I used to sell jewelry. But these are beads, so that's kind of cool. I, I don't really have a lot of those as beads. Ooh, I love these big boy um, opaque crystals. They look like they have an AB on one half of them. I don't have any in this color and this size. That's awesome. I would love a whole strand of those. Um, we have some orange. I think, I think these are glass or, or glass or ceramic. One of one of the two. I'm loving this color mix though, like the orange, the yellow. It's very southwesty, but it does remind me of the 70s. Another one of these bead bubbles. We have a couple boho beads. Ooh, these green crackle glass beads are beautiful. Nice, like bright green. Cool, not having a bead mat is becoming a problem <laughs> but I think I actually packed it if, if not I don't I have no idea where it is um, cute little frosted ovals ooh we have some crystal rondelles um, 
Oh, some check glass stars. They have teeny tiny holes though, so those aren't going on leather anytime soon, but they're still really pretty. Those are really cute. Black table, almost table cut looking. Yeah, they probably are table cut. Some cute little black hearts. This is such a cute little mix. I actually really love this mix. And it's got some different shapes because um, Jesse James Beads tends to, sh to um, repeat shapes in different colors. So it's nice seeing some shapes that we don't really get every time. These are beautiful spacers. We've got some pretty, these almost look like little planets or little moons. And then we have two little, like, uh, yellow, canary yellow um, crystals. And we have two little, like, jonquil crystals. And then we have some bead caps and some teeny tiny black crystals. So that's pretty cool. Many of you have asked... Um, and these come from the Dollar Tree, 12 for a dollar in the party section with all their other plastic party stuff. They're like little sauce dishes and they're wonderful for sorting beads. Hi, Goldie. So cute. Um, she's laying by me like, Mom, pay attention to me, not your beads. Um, okay, so here's the Softflex beading wire in it's medium and it's in turquoise. This is a great color. It's definitely turquoise. It's not just blue. Um, strength for 26 pounds. This is 10 feet. So very cool. I haven't used Softflex before, but I, I love this. I will be using this. Um, next, we have the Retro Beats Tassel Mix. I'm loving this color palette, honestly. Like the this is right up my alley. And it does look retro. I love it. So, ooh, we have some new tassels here. I haven't I mean I've seen these tassels before, and like I said, I gotta do a challenge to get my tassels out of the way because I have too many tassels. So nothing too spectacular here. Cream um, petal tassels and then some blue, orange, and yellow, or turquoise orange and yellow little mini tassels but look at these guys these are beautiful they're almost like macrame I love that I love that shape too with the triangle such a cool color I actually really like those those are cool glad I am starting to like this uh, not starting to I'm really liking this um, month I wasn't too hyped about the seed beads but this one's pretty cool okay so we have the obligatory uh chain reaction looks like this month we have two um, i'm pretty sure i have both of these colors i actually did use chain reaction in one of the necklaces recently um, and i think it was the one with Oh gosh, I think it was the one with Heidi's beads. I can't remember. But anyway, these are beautiful. They always are. And I love that you can take them apart and use these as charms or connectors or however you'd like. Um, what are these? Chain reaction, fancy focal metal mix, instant pendant. Are these the, oh, these are the M Jesse James beads, or Magical Mystery Bead Box exclusive shell beads. That's cool. I've never seen uh, this pattern on anything before, so, my goodness. All right, so we have this really cool 70s looking um, pattern. I really like that. And this is just so cute. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it, but it's super cute. And it goes this way. Okay. So you can put it on a bracelet. I think that would be really cute. And they give you pairs of these for a bracelet. I don't, there's three of these, but two of the mixtape. Those are really neat. I like how they feel. Next we have 
um, instant pendant. So you guys, I have a video from way back when, and I'll link it below, I guess, uh, if, if you'd like to see it, of my instant pendant, instant uh, necklaces. I always love having these on hand because um, sometimes you get a focal bead and you don't know what you want to do with it, so you just put it on an instant pendant for now until you figure out what you want to do because you want to wear your, your bead. Um, fancy focal metal mix. This is cool. Very retro. A lot of this stuff reminds me of Sarah James. All right, so that's a cute little flower. That I love the middle. That would be great for polymer clay stamping. Um, cute little swirly flowers. And I just love this heart. You guys know I love hearts. Oh, it's double-sided. This is really cute. This is a cute little mix. I always ask you guys, if you haven't answered me before, or even if you haven't answered me before, how do you like to store your Jesse James beads? Do you cut them apart? Do you um, keep them together? What do you do? Oh my gosh, this is, if I could be a bead strand today, it would be this bead strand. So we have, um, can you dig it bead strand? Oh my gosh, guys, you know I love turquoise. You know I love orange. You know I love wood. And you know I love orange and turquoise together. Could you pick a better bead strand for me? Ugh, I was really happy with the mermaid um, box that we got earlier this year from them. But this one's like rivaling my favorite, even though we had seed beads in here. But this is just so pretty. I just love this shell bead with these orange beads. I need to start making my own boho beads like that. There's like two different types of boho beads. There's the Jesse James boho beads and then there's the fabric boho beads. And I want to try and make both. But I don't have any wood beads that look like that. It's so cool. I love these bead caps. They put some polymer clay spacers on there. Oh, and these are even cool uh, wood saucers too. And then we've got these neat... Oh, huh, this is really pretty bead strand. It's one of my favorite bead strands I've ever gotten from them. And it's so funky. And then last but not least, macrame bead mix. Okay. So we have a couple of these bobble, bo uh, bobble ball balls is what I call them, bobble balls. And then it's got some gold glitter. So it looks like a disco ball. That's awesome. Guys, tell me what you've done with these besides making earrings. <laughs> Um, we have a beautiful boho bead in brown shell, gold, two macrame beads. I have a couple of these, um, in green. Those are neat. I love that they're like raw hemp looking, which I've been thinking, I really, really want to make, um, some macrame bracelets or necklaces or something soon. So once I get everything set up, I think all my hemp and stuff is in my storage unit. Um, these are cool. They're like frosted. They're not clear. They're almost cream, but they're between like cream and clear um, crystals. And then we have like a gunmetal bronze one. Um, some check. I've seen this shape before from them. Check brown glass beads and then some beautiful bead caps. So I overall am ecstatic with this box um, the only thing i don't like is the seed bead mix and i can get over that there is one other thing i don't like is how long it took for them to ship this out um and we'll see how great things go with me moving and changing my address with <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching um let me know what you think uh, i know several of you feel the same way i do uh, i probably will not be renewing this subscription so um I mean, you take take that with a grain of salt because I really love this box. I just don't think I'm going to continue this box after I'm done. Um, I did buy the year subscription earlier this year, so we'll see a few more of these. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any comments on it, let me know. I have um, a cute little video of your best friend, Goldie, waiting for you in just a few moments. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.
Say hello, friends. Hi. Hi, all of my fans. Hi, cutie.